up all, JC3 here with the Baller of YouTube The General, welcome to Topic Tackle. Now let me make myself clear, I'm not going to sit up here and overreact. Oh my goodness, the Cavs are in trouble. Absolutely not. As far as I'm concerned, they're still the best team in the NBA, should be favored to win the NBA championship. I'm not going to overreact, but I am going to react. And I have a right to do that, and I have a right to sit up here and say on the Michael Jordan scale, LeBron James, again, has shown the biggest knock against him by what he did out there in game three. I saw the box score, 11 points, six rebounds, six assists, six turnovers, which is bad. But that's not even the stat on there that I'm most surprised and shocked about. The stat on there that I'm most shocked about is the 13 shots. Wait a minute. The best player in the world by a mile who is having one of the greatest postseasons ever with his numbers only took 13 shots? Really? I'm sorry, but on a Michael Jordan comparison scale, it, call it whatever you want, but this guy, LeBron James, is constantly being compared to Michael Jordan. I would not be on him if we weren't comparing him to Jordan, but we all do it. That's the scale, that's the realm that he's entered into. I never seen Michael Jordan disappear like this man disappears. When LeBron decides it's not his night, it's really not his night. Like, he disappears, he goes away. He, it, like, that's done. If it's not his night, he's done. That is it. 13 shots. That is it. If you don't completely nail away a bad habit, it will come back to bite you, and it did tonight. Okay, so I went and looked up worst playoff performances ever. This came up. Michael Jordan did indeed have a game where he shot only eight times. Now, to counteract any arguments that people would have against me being critical of LeBron only shooting 13 times, notice that this game happened very early in Michael Jordan's career. 1989 against the Detroit Pistons. According to the Complex website, the 20th worst playoff game of all time was also Michael Jordan in the 1996 NBA Finals, which happened a long time after that Detroit Piston game we just looked at. Still, he shot the ball 19 times. He didn't shoot it 8 again, he didn't take 13. This is why I'm being critical of LeBron. This is later in his career, I think he's figured it out, but then he only shoots 13 times. Doesn't make sense to me. Jordan had bad nights, but Jordan didn't disappear. This was another classic LeBron disappearing act. Say what you want. The man only took 13 shots. Leave your feedback in the comments down below. Share this video. We'll be back with more soon. JC3, out.